Okay, so how this is gonna work is we're gonna do a pilot career, turn on all the assists, put the difficulty to minimum, and face roll over the keyboard for 120 hours till we win. Now that I lost 99% of my viewers, here's what we're actually gonna do. This will be an Iron Man campaign, so any mistakes I will have to live with, or more accurately, die with. Most of the assists will be off, except for the techno babble, because it lets me know if my controls are actually working. Be flying for the United States, meaning the P-51D Mustang. Now, IL-2's campaign mode is a lot like Red Baron's. It will randomly generate missions based on the campaign situation, but that situation will always play out the same. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. We will be turning on Iron Man. And... Yeah, this guy looks cursed enough. And if you can't tell, I am playing this through my VR headset. It's the best head tracking solution I have at the moment, and I like my immersion. The situation on the Western Front in mid-December 1944 finds the Germans in full retreat and the Allies advancing more quickly towards the German border than expected. However, with his troops fatigued by weeks of continuous combat and supplies running low, the Allies pause their offensive operations to allow time for rest and recovery. On December 16th, the Germans launched their surprise offensive with their last significant armored reserves in the West. Called Operation Watch on the Rhine by the Germans, this attack will become known as the Battle of the Bulge by the Allies. The ambitious goal of the plan is to break through the thinly held Ardan with the three armies of Army Group B, advance westward to the Meuse River, and then swing to the northwest to capture Antwerp and Brussels. The hope of the Germans, with such a major gamble, is to end the war in the West in their favor. With Allied aircraft grounded by poor weather, the Germans initially take the Allies by surprise and overrun large numbers of troops, particularly in the center sector. U.S. paratroopers are even surrounded in the small Belgian town of Bastogne and barely hang on. However, due to a severe lack of fuel and ammunition and determined Allied resistance, the German attack stalls just short of the Meuse by December 24th. At the same time, improving weather conditions allow Allied aircraft to resume attacking German troop columns, armor, and supply points. All these factors, combined with the arrival of fresh Allied ground troops, put an end to the German offensive and the Battle of the Bulge becomes an Allied victory, putting further pressure on the German military to defend the West German frontier with the loss of more men and badly needed material and supplies. Ready. Uh, yada yada yada. Not a whole ton happening now, so let's start the first day. Clear right. weather, some clouds, temperature cold as bulls. All right, so for this, we'll put the difficulty on hard. New runway starts. First speed on medium. That's the on medium as well. Okay, free hunt. Looks like this is just going to be meander to a point north of the city and blow up anything that dares show its face.
course, I was not assigned to that mission. You bastards. That's okay, a whole lot of nothing happened. December 26, 1944, becomes a turning point in the Battle of the Bulge, as units of General Patton's U.S. 3rd Army break through German positions in the south and relieve the besieged troops of Bastogne. By January 3, 1945, the U.S. 3rd Army in the south and the U.S. 1st Army in the north goes onto the offensive with the aim of cutting off German troops caught in the salient. The Allies close off the northern and southern pinchers of the German offensive when the 1st and 3rd Armies link up at Hoofalese on January 16th, putting an end to the Battle of the Bulge. Large numbers of Germans have managed to escape being encircled, but most of their armored vehicles are abandoned owing to the dire fuel shortage. By the beginning of February, the front lines are roughly back at the point they were when the Germans launched their Ardennes offensive in December. Meanwhile, on the first day of January, the Luftwaffe's Western Air Command launches its mass surprise attack, Operation Bodenplot. Hundreds of piston engine aircraft, as well as jet fighters and bombers, strike airfields in France and the Low Countries in an attempt to neutralize the tactical air forces of the Americans and the British. Operation Bodenplot, or base plate as it is called in English, was a big surprise to the Allies. The belief was that the Luftwaffe was all but defeated based on the lack of enemy air opposition over France from D-Day onward. Lack of fuel, high attrition, and overwhelming numbers of Allied planes has severely reduced the Luftwaffe's activities and influence at the front. Like the German army, for safety, the Luftwaffe was active mostly at night. The American and British air forces thought the air war was about over, but like the surprise Ardennes offensive itself of which the Bolton plot raid is part of, it was also a surprise. However, it was also just as desperate as a ground-based attack and it didn't happen when it was originally planned. It was two weeks late. Even though it was indeed New Year's Day, several groups of Allied fighters were readying themselves to take off on their morning sortie but were already airborne. Many of these airborne fighters intercepted the German aircraft and fierce dogfights ensued. Allied planes scored several victories that morning. While hundreds of Allied planes are destroyed in the raid, the Luftwaffe sustained losses in pilots and planes that could not be replaced at this late date in the war, further hastening the Luftwaffe's ultimate defeat on both fronts. Right. Clear. Some clouds at two kilometers. Still cold. Water cysts are off except for the techno babble. We get and escort bombers gig. And they're 100 kilometers. Do this guy for second city. And only 2,000 feet up, flying over two airfields deep behind enemy lines. No way this can go wrong.
Ready. It's the bomb racks. Keep the ammo. Keep the mirror. Get myself up for maybe around two hours worth of fuel. Yeah, I don't really know what that is for the Mustang, but we'll guess 44%. Good. Let's get it on. All right, just gotta wait for the AI to get its butt rolling.
River should put us right around here, so. All enemy territory from here on out. I dare say we're going a tad slower than that. Sounds like the AI spotted something. Ditto, six. Engaging fighter to the east. Low, range, two and a half miles. Hello. Out. Ditto, two. You're not one of my guys. Engaging fighter to the northeast. Range, about two miles. Out. One, two, three, four. Four guys incoming. You take care of him. You, I will jump on. You hope that's not me here jittering around so much I can't tell. Yeah, I think you're a piece of crap engineering. I'm on fire, bailing out. Ditto, five, engaging fighter. Range half mile. Out. Ditto. Three. Engaging fighter to the southeast. Range about one mile. Out. Ditto. Eight. Engaging fighter to the southwest. Range about one mile. Out. Ditto. Six. Engaging fighter to the southwest. Range two and a half miles. Out. Ditto. Three. Engaging fighter to the northeast. Range half mile. Out. Ditto. Four. Engaging fighter to the northwest. Five. Range half mile. You're done. Out. Ditto. Eight. Engaging fighter to the southwest. All right. What happened to uh, Tweedle D? Mile. Out. There you are. Six. Engaging fighter to the southwest. Low. Range two and a half miles. Out. Ditto. Three. Engaging fighter to the east. Range about one mile. Out. Ditto. Three. I'm wounded. Engaging fighter, range about one mile, out. Ditto, four. Engaging fighter, range half mile, 
This is Ditto 3, proceeding to base. Over, Ditto. Copy. My guy. He's settling in on this sucker. Ditto 8, engaging fighter to the east. Range half mile. Out. Ditto. Four. Engaging fighter. It's close. Out. Ditto. Four. Engaging fighter. Range half mile. Out. Ditto. Six. Come on, that's the engine pull me. Low. Range. Two and a half miles. Out. Ditto. Four. Engaging fighter to the northeast. Range about three and a half miles. Out. Ditto. Four. Target destroyed. I think they're cursed. Yeah. I have to the powers. Ditto 4. Engaging fighter to the north. Range about one mile. Out. Ditto 4. Engaging fighter to the northeast. Range five miles. Out. Still be fighting with your um, tail missing. Range half mile out. Ditto five. Engaging fighter. Range about two miles out. Ditto six. Engaging fighter to the southwest. Range half mile out. Ditto five. Engaging fighter to the northwest. Man, I range don't... about one mile. Calling severe bullshit on that. Engaging fighter to the south. High. Range about two miles out. Okay, yeah, you are not surviving that one. Ditto four. Engaging fighter to the northeast. Range five miles out. You just went for splat. Hopefully that wasn't friendly. Ditto, six, engaging fighter to the northwest, range about one mile, out. Ditto, six, engaging fighter to the northwest, range about one mile, out. Ditto, four, engaging fighter to the east, five, range two and a half miles, out. Ditto, four, engaging fighter to the southeast. Oh, hello. High, range about one mile, out. Ditto, four, engaging fighter to the southwest. Low, range about one mile, out. Ditto, seven, engaging fighter to the southwest. Low, range three miles, out. Ditto, eight, engaging fighter to the southwest. Low. Range two and a half miles out. Ditto four. Engaging fighter. Range half mile. Out. No. Ditto eight. Engaging fighter. Low. Range three miles out. 
Ditto seven. Engaging fighter to the southwest. Low. You're going range me out and half miles. Out. Ditto four. Engaging fighter to the southeast. That wreck is two steps from death, buddy. Super pissed if that is the same aircraft. Objective, where are my de oh, there they are. Ditto seven, 
Engaging fighter. Range five miles. Out. Ditto. Six. Engaging fighter. Range about three and a half miles. Out. Ditto. Six. Engaging fighter to the southwest. Range five miles. Out. Yeah, and their egress point is to the north, so... Ditto, 7. Engaging fighter. Our ingress, so... Out. I'll need to be going this way to catch up with them. Turkey shoot. Wow. Ditto seven. Engaging fighter to the east. Range about two miles. Out. That's it. Ditto seven. Engaging fighter to the east. Range about one mile. Engaging fighter to the east. Range three miles. Out. Ditto seven. Engaging fighter to the northeast. Five. Range half mile. Out. I think I'm running out of ammo. Four and a half miles out. Where 
Jerry just landed and I don't think I have the ammo for you. Did it. So, live and let live. To the northeast. Range two and a half miles. It's a minor miracle that my bombers haven't been shot down yet. Ditto seven. I haven't exactly been around them. Range half mile. Lake in the middle of the forest. I'll put myself just to the south of that. Another German airfield. Ditto seven. Engaging fighter five. Range about four and a half miles. Out. Oh, this place is just full of friendly friends. Yeah, I never see that needle needle move past some. Um, Range, two and a half miles. I don't even know if the fuel Out. gauge works in this thing. Three, I'm wounded. Three, I'm on fire. Bailing out. Ditto, A. Engaging fighter to the southwest. Range, two and a half miles. Out. Southern edge of sector 
Hey, engaging fighter. It's close. Out. shooting at. Chase Jerry across Denmark, Belgium, wherever the hell we are.
This is flight, flight requesting landing approach. Over, proceed. We are done here. Our airfield is just southeast.
Let me see what the damage was. Got four aircraft. Got Forty minutes. We lost two P-51s before I got the first one. And I drunkenly meandered over here. Kill the second 109. Lost another P-51. Oh, it's a bloodbath. Those two... They managed to get one of the A-20s. Well, the mission was successful, but I'm pretty sure all my flight's dead. Uh, maybe I'm too busy racking up chests full of metals to care. Bloodbath, all right. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's gone, he's wounded. Well, may there be better missions in the future. Though, the way the friendly AI is flying, I doubt it. <laughs>